What up, what up? Hope everybody doing good this Wednesday night. I want to talk about a little NFL with you guys. But before we get started, I need you guys to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Uh, you know, the Sunday, we got the big game Sunday. Kansas City Chiefs, they playing the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in Tampa. Well, the Kansas City Chiefs survived a, survived a scare. They dodged a bullet. They team Barbara tested positive Sunday for COVID. In the process of testing positive for COVID Sunday, he was cutting a player hair. Uh, Daniel Kilgore, the backup center. The, the, the center, you know, why he was in the chair, the, the negative, I mean, the positive result came back. The center told him, you know, to go ahead and finish cutting my hair. I'm already a close contact. So that was one player, Daniel Kilgore, they put on the reserve list. And they also put Demarcus Robinson. He's a receiver. I want to say he's a backup receiver for the Chiefs. He plays a lot, you know, uh, swaps out with Tyreek and Sammy Watkins them. And I don't know how much his loss will impact if he's not able to play. The barber, the team barber was isolated from the team after he, they found out he was positive. He had tested uh, negative for five days straight and then one positive Sunday, man. The COVID something else. You know, they said also said they, he, they had a line like uh, 20 players waiting to get haircuts Sunday. They said Patrick Mahomes was one of those players. You know, thanks goodness, you know, Mahomes wasn't sitting in the chair or he, either he'll be in the, on the reserve list like Kilgore and Robinson, man. You know, you want to see both teams, Tampa Bay and Kansas City, at full strength on Sunday. You know, no excuses, man. Everybody, uh, man on man, you know, the best of the best. I want to get an NFL, you know, props and shout out. You know, the NFL done really did a good job with this COVID, man, situation. They made it through a full season and the playoffs and they get to the Super Bowl without a bubble. You know, man, that, that's the big ups to that, man. Because I could have I could have never believed they were going to make it. I thought it was going to be real, real tough, but they did it. And this this is this dangerous, you know, to see these players getting sick right here this close to the Super Bowl. Uh, not necessarily they saying they getting sick, but they even just be in contact with somebody that has tested positive. But right now, if they take five, if they get five negative tests, the players, Robinson and Kiergore, they'll be eligible to play Sunday. Hopefully things work in they works in their favor and they'll be out there Sunday. Uh, I'm, I'm happy for the Chiefs. You know I'm happy for Tampa Bay. This is the best of the best. Uh, Brady, Brady versus Mahomes. I hope everybody stays stay, stay healthy and stay safe until the game Sunday. You know and, and let us have a good game. You know because you won't want to see either quarterback be out and the team say, well, we didn't have our starting quarterback. That you know that win don't count. You know it won't be no excuses. It by everybody at full of strength. And like I said, I still want to get the NFL props on 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 the on the handling of the COVID man. You know they they been the front like a front line work on this. They they had a, a good understanding of what they were trying to do, and they plan they executed they plan to the fullest. I want to hear what you guys think. What your guys what you guys opinion is about COVID. Uh, do you do you like how the NFL handled the situation this year, with or what they do what they did? Did they had the proper protocols in place? I also want you guys to hit like and hit that subscribe button. You know and talk to me, comment sometime. You know share your opinion. I'm here to I'm here to listen to what you guys think as well as share mine. And right now I'm finna sign off, and I want you guys to have a good night, man. And I'll be back to you and talk about sports tomorrow.